What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the bait laboratory. And I know that most of us really love topwater fishing. And today I'm going to show you how to make your very own topwater bait. I'm talking buzz baits. Buzz baits can catch giant topwater fish. Buzz baits are one of my favorite topwater baits. I don't throw them enough and um, it's one of the baits that I know for sure I'm going to be throwing more this year. So we're going to be making some white buzz baits today and I'm really excited about it. You can make these in your garage. You can make these yourself. Super cheap to make and they're going to catch you some fish. So let's get into it. Let's make some buzz baits. All right, so making these buzz baits isn't all that difficult. Um, I've tried to do two at a time and I would not recommend it. I definitely recommend doing it one at a time. What I mean by that is whether you're gonna make a 3 8 or a half ounce, just do one of those baits at a time. And the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to take your hook and connect it to the wire form, just like that. And then you're gonna set it in the mold, just like so. And then one thing you wanna pay attention to is down in the cavity, you wanna make sure that your wire goes in the cavity and you want it to go down enough so that way the mold and the lead is gonna fill your hook and wire form. So once you get your hook on your wire form, one thing I would recommend is taking a pair of pliers and bending that wire down to really close up any gap that you have with your hook. So just like that, just bend that down so it hooks it a little bit better. And one of the main reasons you wanna do that is so that way when you set it into your mold, which I'm gonna show you right here, is you have more gaps between the edges of the mold and the wires, and then that lead's gonna cover everything up a little bit better. So one more thing that you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to is right here, the edge of the mold, is you might need to cut your wire form down, maybe like a quarter of an inch, and then it's gonna go right in the center of that cavity just like you want. You don't have to cut much off the wire form. Literally, it's about a quarter eighth of an inch and everything's gonna set in there just a little bit better. One other thing I like to do is I like to put tape on the buzz bait, just like that, just like some blue tape. It keeps everything in line so that way when I close the mold up and everything, everything stays put a little bit better. One other tip for you is if you notice right here, the top of the buzz bait is seated on top of this other mold right here, and that's gonna help you keep the wire form from falling off the edge of your mold you're using. Okay, so we're gonna close up the mold. You wanna make sure everything kind of stays put. Make sure that everything is nice and flush on the top, which it is. Then we're gonna come over to our lead pot. I'm gonna take the nail out that I have inside the mold. It kind of keeps everything, um, gives you a nice flow. And then we are gonna come over here, pour in our lead. And then I'm gonna plug this back up so we don't have too many drips. Then we will check out our buzz bait here in a second. Okay, so we're gonna open up our mold, check out our buzz bait. Looks like it turned out pretty good. And we are going to take a look at it right there. Pretty good looking buzz bait right there. I'm gonna take my shears. I'm gonna cut off the sprue right here. And there you have it. We got one poured up. Okay, so our last buzz bait was the half ounce. Now we're gonna make the 3 8 ounce, which is right here. So we're gonna take our wire form and we are going to connect our hook just like so. I'm gonna take a pair of pliers and I am going to, once again, bend the wire form so it connects and secures to my hook a little bit better, just like so. And then I'm gonna take it and put it into my mold. And what I'm gonna do is take that tape again, take that piece of tape, put it right down here at the bottom, just like so. And that's gonna secure everything in position just like that and then we will pour up our bait. Okay, so our mold is all closed up, nice and flush up top. So what we're gonna do is go over to the lead pot again. I'm gonna pull that nail out. And pour in our lead. Plug up the hole. And then we'll check out that buzz bait here in a second. All right, so we're gonna open up our mold, check out our 3 8 ounce buzz bait. 
take it out, take that tape off. There's our buzz bait, 3 8 ounce right there, looking nice and solid. Cut that sprue off just like that. There we have it, we're almost done. Okay, so we did a 3 8 and a half ounce already, and this time we're gonna do the quarter ounce, which is this one right here. So once again, I'm gonna take, this is the two aught hook, and this is the thinner wire form. I'm gonna connect my hook and my wire form, take the pliers, and I'm going to bend down and secure that hook a little bit better. Now I'm going to, once again, get my tape, secure everything so they stay in place, just like that. Close up the mold, go over to the lead pot, pour everything in, plug it back up, and let's check it out. And we got a good quarter ounce buzz bait right there. Okay, so we got three of our Delta buzz bait blades and we got three of our rivets. These blades right here are made for the 3 8 and half ounce versions of these baits. They make a smaller one that is made for the quarter ounce, but I did figure out that you can use this bigger blade on that quarter ounce buzz bait. So we're gonna put this size on all three of them. So I'm only gonna do two of these to start off with because the half ounce version i am going to paint white i'm going to show you guys how to paint these buzz bait heads because it's a little bit more um, involved than just dipping it like some of the other baits but putting these blades on is super simple you literally just put the blade on just like so and then what we're going to do is put our rivet on just like that and then what i'm going to do here is i'm going to take a pair of pliers and i'm going to bend this blade, this wire right here, just bend it straight down, just straight down, just like that. And then that basically stops that rivet from going off of the wire. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take this pair of, these are crimping pliers. And what I'm going to do is just crimp that on, just like that. So as you can see, it's got a little bit of a divot in there and now our buzzbait blade is going to sit there and it's going to turn just like that so we're going to come over to the quarter ounce version what you have to do here is because if you just try to do the exact same process over again you're going to find out that the blade won't turn because it bumps into itself on the wire so like that so all you have to do it's pretty simple trick here is you literally just have to bend this wire up just a little bit, just that much will do it. And slide it on. And one thing you have to be careful on is that there's not a whole lot of wire sticking out the back. So what I'm gonna do is put the rivet on just like this. And then I'm just gonna crimp it. I'm not even gonna bend it or anything. Just crimp it just like that. And now it's gonna stay in place, but I'm gonna crimp it in another spot towards the back, just so I have two crimps in it. And that's gonna keep this, this blade on. And as you can see now, it spins like it's supposed to. So these buzz baits could be done. You could just use them just like this with a plastic trailer on the back of it, but we're gonna put skirts on these because so many of them have skirts. You can obviously easily remove the skirts if you wanted to. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna show you guys something here is this rubber band is not in the middle of these baits, which is on purpose. So what we're gonna do is slide the hook down into it, just like so. And then we're gonna push everything up to the top, just like that. And then as you can see, it didn't go on evenly, which is what we want. We don't want everything to be even. We want things to be a little bit offset. And I want that chartreuse on the bottom because I prefer the chartreuse to be on bottom. But now our Busby is finished up and we are all finished. That's our quarter ounce buzz bait. You can trim that trailer or that skirt up if you wanted to. But overall, I think that's a good looking bait. Okay, so right here we have our 3 8 ounce buzz bait and we are gonna put a white skirt. It's got a little bit of 
clear pearl kind of a color, but we're gonna, once again, put it in the short side right here, and then just feed everything through, push it up onto the lead of our buzz bait, and then we just wanna kinda move everything around, get everything in position how we want it. Might have to move some of the strands of skirt, but overall, I think this one turned out pretty good as well. I think that's gonna catch some fish. I really like the unfinished head, but I wanna show you guys a white one with a finished head. So we'll do that now. So painting a buzz bait or painting a spinner bait is gonna be a little bit different than painting some of your other jigs or something like that because it's you can't just dip it into the powder paint like this because you have all this stuff hanging off of it. So I'm gonna show you a different way to do that. And the first thing you wanna do is you wanna get a plate or something like this, could be a piece of paper. And one thing I want to do is fold it because you want that crease because once you get all that paint in here, you're gonna have a whole bunch on top of this plate and then you can just use that crease to pour everything back into your Protec powder paint cup. And um, what I'm also gonna need is this makeup brush. Basically, I asked my wife for an extra one. She had one she wasn't going to use, so this is now my brush that I'm using to paint these baits. So let me show you how to do that. So a couple of things you need when you're gonna powder paint anything is a heat source, and that is gonna be this heat gun right here. But when you're powder painting something like a buzz bait or a spinner bait, you're also gonna need a brush or something like that. This is just a makeup brush that my wife had that she's no longer gonna use. And then obviously you're gonna need some paint. This is the Protec powder paint in white. And then when it comes to the buzz baits and spinner baits, I like to tape off these two areas just like I showed you so that way the paint doesn't get on the hook shaft at all or up on the point of the hook or too far up on the head, off the head of the buzz bait and onto that wire. Okay, so we're gonna turn on our heat gun and we're gonna just turn our buzz bait just like this, keeping it over the heat source just to make sure it gets nice and hot. We gotta get that lead hot so the powder paint melts on top of the buzz bait. Because if it doesn't melt, it just has kind of like a powdery, you know, not real shiny look to it. And I'm gonna do it a little bit longer than I normally would for like jigs and stuff that I normally would just dip in. Because I want this to, the heat on this lead to last a little bit longer than normal because it's gonna take me a little bit longer to paint this than when I just dip it in. So we'll give this another few seconds and then we'll transition over to our paint station. Okay, that should be good. So what I'm going to do is turn this off and then I'm gonna head over here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna dip our brush into the cup of paint and then we're just gonna shake some of that paint onto our buzz bait just like that. Get a little bit more. We're just just basically just dropping that paint onto that hot lead head. And I think we got some decent coverage. We need to do the bottom a little bit better. Just like that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get shake some of this off. And then we're gonna turn our heat gun back on, melt that powder paint back down a little bit better. Just like that. Just keep turning it, because you don't wanna keep it on one spot too long. We're gonna need a little bit more like that and we're gonna go back over here get everything melted back down and there we have it it's nice and painted now so something I did before on going on camera was put this plate down and I folded it to give you a crease the reason you want that crease is so you can kind of pour this powder paint back into your cup you're gonna lose some obviously but you can all get a lot of that paint that you didn't use back into your cup. And that's one way that you can paint spinner baits and buzz baits without dipping them. 
All right, so here's our finished buzz bait that's painted white. So what you're gonna wanna do now is you're gonna wanna take this tape off of the bait. Just like that, we're taking the tape off. Clean off any of the powder paint that might have still ended up on your bait or any of the stickiness from the paint itself. We're gonna go down here to the hook shank and take off our paint, painter's tape, just like that. So as you can see, the reason I put that tape on there is we have a nice distinct area where that paint stops up by here on the, on the wire. And then we also have it down here on the shank of the hook and then no paint got on the hook point itself either. Okay, so another step in the painting process is baking the powder paint because it's gonna make it a lot more durable. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna get everything set up in here so this sits upright in the toaster oven, just like so. So any of that paint that's too thick is gonna run down the shaft of that hook. It won't get on the hook point or anything like that, but it'll run down and it, you won't have any you know, droopy spots or any anything like that. So we'll get that in the oven for about 20 minutes at around 350, 400 degrees. All right, so our buzz bait has been in the oven long enough. It's baked on there. We're gonna take it out. And as you can see, turned out pretty good. Nice clean paint job on there. Just like that, yep, looks pretty good, nice and white. All right, so off camera, I put that skirt on this buzz bait. This is a six cent skirt. Um, they make some awesome skirts, by the way. But this is a six cent skirt that I put on here. And the last thing we gotta do is just put that blade up here. It's super simple, like I showed you guys on the other ones. We're just gonna slide the blade on. Come out the back. Where's it at? There we go. So now all we gotta do is bend that back part right there. I'm just gonna take the pliers like that and I'm gonna bend it straight down. Actually, I'm gonna do it this way. Just bend it straight down like that. So as you can see, it's nice and bent right there. It's gonna stop that rivet. Then I'm gonna take that same pair of pliers and then I'm going to crimp that on there in two spots, just like that. So now I got two crimps on there. That buzz bait's gonna spin just like that. There you got it, nice looking white buzz bait. That thing will catch some fish. So I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this buzz bait video. I really hope it got you to where you might wanna do this stuff yourself. Um, having said that, all the links to all this equipment is gonna be down in the description of today's video. And we're gonna do a giveaway with today's video. So if you wanna get your hands on all three of these buzz baits, you need to comment down below and you need to comment, I want those buzz baits down below. Share this video and subscribe to my channel. Do those three things, subscribe to my channel, comment, I want those buzz baits and share this video with somebody else. And you're gonna be entered in to win all three of these buzz baits. So have fun with that. Once again, here's how you get in. Subscribe to my channel, comment, I want those buzz baits down below and share this video with somebody else. All three, three of those things are gonna be required to enter in, so good luck. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this buzz bait video. Top water blow ups are some of the coolest, coolest ways to catch fish. You see those fish come out of the water and they destroy that top water bait and buzz baits can flat out catch big ones. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Have fun with the giveaway and good luck. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. See ya.